Good, good afternoon, everybody, and it's Fertility Talk Live again. It's Friday afternoon, and today we've got Anin. Anin is from Dauphin Pharmaceuticals, and Dauphin Pharmaceuticals, if you guys know, um, they've got a great product called Picositol. So Picositol is a supplement which is used in the treatment of PCOS for women dealing with um, P PCOS, suffering from PCOS. And this month, you guys know, it is PCOS Awareness Month. So for PCOS Awareness Month, uh, because it has actually sponsored that women talk about PCOS. Um, so every Monday night, Monday evening, sorry, at 8 p.m., it's live on our Instagram page. If you're not following us on Instagram, please do. Um, it's Fertility Solutions SA, very simple. Um, 8 p.m., women are talking about PCOS and, and, and you know, the struggles with PCOS because PCOS is not easy once we are... Um, diagnosed with it. The problem with PCOS is that women aren't educated enough about PCOS. Um, you know, doctor just tells you you've got PCOS and that's it. So you walk away and you don't know what it means. And in your mind, in some people's minds, it might be, oh, I'm dying. You know what I'm saying? Um, people might have, you, you as a woman, you might have that thought in your mind, but there is lots of things available and we are trying to educate women on PCOS. Um, so today we've got Anin. Anin, thank you very much for joining us. And she, as I said, she is from Dalfrin and we've got a great product for Picostal and today she's going to talk about it. And Anin, please introduce yourself to all the ladies. Hi, Leanne. Hi. It's so lovely to be here. Thank you for having me. And I'm looking forward to our little discussion um, in regards to um, polycystic ovary syndrome that affects so, so, so many women. And I think it's becoming more and more common, um, obviously, as we see doctors on a daily basis. There are so many women that are being diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome, as you've mentioned. Um, but like you said, they're walking away and they've got all these symptoms that they don't know. Is it normal? Is it okay? You know, is it part of polycystic ovary syndrome? Is it something different? So, yeah, I think it's good to have a, a chat about this, um, yeah. you know, to make women feel more you know, that like they've got a voice and they can speak about it openly. Absolutely, yeah. Um, there's been so many, um, you know, as soon as women are, are told you've got PCOS, a lot of them also think that's it, I'm never going to conceive. You know, that is that is a question that gets asked. Um, but Absolutely. women don't know that there are so many things out there that you can do. And obviously it stems from um, eating healthy, living a life, healthy lifestyle or just, or just simply making good, healthy choices. Um, and we've Absolutely. done a few talks this month on um, things that you can do to, to assist you in dealing with, with PCOS um, mm -hmm. when it comes to nutrition. And exact, we even did a talk on exactly what is PCOS um, mm -hmm. and all the symptoms that goes along with it. Um, one main thing that we always end up saying is a supplement. You need to take a supplement um, or that advice in, in taking some type of supplement. And, um, and it's not only when you're dealing with infertility that you need to take the supplement when you've got PCOS. Um, and I think this is something that you're going to go more into, but I mean, PCOS can, can cause, am, am I right? Am I saying um, diabetes? Um, you know, the end yeah. result of it is diabetes. Um, there's heart problems mm -hmm. you could have. Um, there's so many other things and the weight gain, obviously, because um, due to PCOS, it can cause all these other things further on. Um, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so it, it's PCOS, when taking a supplement, you always have to think it's a maintenance plan. Um, yes, yes. And there are so many supplements out there. And I think today's talk is going to be great because you guys are going to, you, you're going to actually tell us what makes Picositol different from what is out there. So tell me about Picositol and what, what is the difference with Picositol and all the other products out there? Yeah, um, Leanne, yeah, there's a lot of different supplementation, um, you know, on the market that can help women with PCOS just to live a better life, to, to, to just add quality to your life. And to feel better, you know, I think that's the, the main thing with regards to supplementation. So, because it's all, if we want to talk, we're going to talk about that now, but it's very, very unique. It is different from, from all the other supplementation out there. Um, it was developed by a dietitian who specifically specializes in polycystic ovary syndrome. And she's done years and years of research on 
what supplementation is required for optimal <coughs> intervention in polycystic ovary syndrome patients. Um, it's a really great product, product that consists out of 11 ingredients. Um, it consists out of 4,000 um, milligrams of myrinositol, um, which is the amount used according to the majority of clinical studies that was done on PCIS. <coughs> and polycystic ovary syndrome, uh, um, because it will also consist out of 100 milligrams of decarinositol. So it is in the 40 to 1 ratio that is required um, in most clinical studies that's been done. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it all is unique because it consists out of vitamin B, um, vitamin B12 that is already in the methylated form to maximize ab absorption. Um, and because it all also makes use of folate, which is also in the methylated form for maximum absorption. Um, it also has magnesium in the glycinated form in, working on the mental conditions of PCOS women. And then it's got the combination of vitamin D, of chromium, of calcium and vitamin K, which works and has been proven to work on ox to reduce oxidative stress in PCOS women. And it's literally all in one sachet, one daily sachet that they have to take um, on an empty stomach daily. Well, okay, what I, what I actually heard you saying is that's got folate. Um, and I know with a lot of People, a lot of women, they would when they're dealing with infertility and stuff, um, and they're looking at taking supplements for infertility, they would go and buy the supplement, and then they would buy folic acid, for example, or folate. Um, so yes. in this case, you actually have that in the the picosetol as well. So you don't actually have need the second product. So it's an all-in-one, yeah. which is an absolutely great yeah. thing. I'm hearing yeah. the calcium as well. Um, there were some other ingredients. You want to go through ingredients again with us? Because as yeah, I think so, people are, are, women are more, um, they are actually checking on, because there's so much education around yeah. uh, what is necessary for picositol um, and when dealing with infertility, they are more aware of the, the of ingredients in a product. So it's, it's actually important that we go through this. If you want to go through that with me, for me please, I mean, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, so as I've mentioned, it's got your 40 to 1 ratio of myrinocetal and decarinocetal in. And that's really essential as it may help with hormonal balancing, which is obviously essential in PCIS women. Um, it also helps with the myrinocetal. It might also help to fill the, if you look at the quality of egg in PCIS women, if you look at the follicular fluid, um, a lot of it um, might consist out of decarinositol. So a lot of PCOS women may have not really good quality eggs. So, you know, in, in that case, struggling to fall pregnant and all of that stuff as well. So we really want to try and fill up those cells with a lot of myrinositol um, that may help with great quality eggs when they do start to ovulate. Um, and then obviously it, we've got CoQ10 in it, CoQ10 coenzyme um, CoQ10 in it, which is called um, 100 milligrams of that. Now, a lot of PCIS women also are insulin resistant, which we've spoken about a little bit before, yeah. um, that we need to, to help to treat. So with regards to like, obviously with CoQ10, it is an insulin sensitizer, um, which might help in that area. And then yeah. the magnesium glycinated um, ingredient, which is obviously 100 milli oh, um, 350 milligrams of that. Now that's very important because PCOS women um, are likely to be 19 times more magnesium deficient than any other women. Yeah, so, so when that happens, oh, they may have, um, you know, struggle with insomnia, um, they may have extra inflammation. And again, we like we've spoken about before with PCOS women, they, they might not, you know, they struggle to sleep at night and they don't know that it's a symptom of PCOS, that they're lacking mm. in some, you know, ingredient or, you know, vitamins. So it's important to know that it is, it's not, it's normal for PCOS women to have insomnia if they don't yeah. supplement and make sure that they can help with that. Um, yeah. And then obviously the, the folic acid, which is in the methylated form, which for maximum absorption, which is critical in PCOS to use. Vitamin B12, also in the methylated form. Now, B12 is also very essential. Um, if they are already on, say, glucophage or metformin, um, that may deplete your whole body of vitamin B, which is 
not very good, you know, because then they may start to struggle with um, oh, mouth sores, low in energy. Um, uh, it basically, yeah, the hormonal, you know, a lot of, not all of them, but some PCOS women also have hirsutism and acne. Yes. Um, you know, that also is, can be more severely there if they've got a vitamin B12 deficiency. Um, also, obviously, the, the, they may start to develop the male... Male pattern um, baldness. Yes, yes. Um, mm. It may start to... In, if, if they are vitamin B12 deficient for a very long time, it may start to affect the nerves. So there's so many things that can happen mm. if you are you know, have a vitamin B12 deficiency for a long period of time. Um, and then obviously chromium and zinc and calcium, vitamin D and vitamin K. Now that all in combination helps to reduce oxidative stress. Um, it may help to reduce that in PCOS women. And so it's really a well thought out product to just yeah. maintain PCOS and to make to make them feel better at the end of yeah. the line. Yeah. Well, wow. thank you. Um, you know, we, we have so many talks on PCOS. And I mean, in this entire month, we're doing PCOS awareness talks. Um, but every time, I promise you, every time we have a talk, I learn something new. So today I've learned about the B12 and how it can actually affect your nerves um, if you... Yeah. If you if you've got a B12 deficiency with PCOS, absolutely, um, absolutely. Yeah, wow. So so that is definitely something that I've learned today. So um, yeah. so thank you very much for doing this talk. So I, if maybe you can just mention where we can get this product. Yeah, um, Leanne, it's available oh, at most pharmacies. Um, your discounts um, stock. Um, because it's all most of your independent pharmacies stock it your clicks pharmacies stock it and if there is for some odd reason um, a pharmacy that don't already have um, because it's all they can definitely order it in for the patient and they'll yeah. receive it sometimes the same day or the next day and then obviously take a lot which always makes it easier mm. for most patients you know they can yeah. always order it even through take a lot awesome. which is great you guys no. can also order directly from me as well, but I always say <laughs> you yes, can order from my, yes, from my yes. stores, fertilityproducts.ca.za or fertilitysolutions.ca.za. But you can, as I said, whatever makes it easiest, it's all about making sure that the that person on the other side needs gets the medication or the supplements needed for your treatment with PCOS. Again, um, we're going to, um, I can say, I, I just want to, go through it again that you guys PCOS is not something don't only take the products because you want to conceive it's a maintenance plan um, it's something that needs to be taken seriously and as you get older I think um, as you know as you you're getting older you can you can avoid quite a lot of things especially diabetes that comes with with um, PCOS so thank you very much Anine thank you for joining us today and taking the time out to um, educate women regarding PCOS and especially in this month of PCOS awareness. Guys, um, don't forget every Monday evening, 8 p.m. on Instagram, we're doing women that's talking about PCOS um, and they struggle, they daily struggle with PCOS awareness, um, with PCOS. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Thanks, Anine. Thank Have a great you, weekend. Bye. You. Bye. Bye.